I'll get two destroyers of my own just as an escort. Forgot I would need one. I can just one. I can first turn purchase those, which is very expensive to do. Don't even know what got attacked there. The message went by so fast, and once again, my transport sent over there for some reason. No idea why it's doing that. Oh, it's here that I was attacked. Well, you're fine. My destroyer over here! Why is it doing that? I just... Oh, it's because my waypoint is there. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I understand now, you don't need to comment and let me know, although I'm sure you already have. Come on, boats. Okay. We probably have enough now. Something's still producing. Stop producing that. Produce wealth. 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 Perfect. Damn. Yeah, those destroyers are those uh those destroyers are gonna be a pain in the ass. Don't know why I have a machine gunner there. Or when I got that. I hate how loud that is every time I go into a city. I also really hate transporting and doing overseas wars. It fucking sucks. In a, if I were doing this off screen, I would likely just give up on the war here, despite how I clearly have it won, and just completely switch out to a uh, science victory. No, they won't capitulate. What will you give me, out of curiosity? Not much. If you gave me, like, four cities, I'd, I'd say fuck it and do it. There we go. Now he's got an old, uh, old frigate. Oh god, I have so many units. I don't want this many units. Do I still have any cities producing? Yes! Stop. Immediately. I just, I don't need more. I don't need more at all. I'm probably paying an insane amount for unit cost. Um, I'm paying quite a bit. I mean, actually, you know what, for unit, or for unit cost, it's really not much. Considering the size. Uh, just keep producing destroyers for now. If you're wondering why the game gets really stuttery and everything here, it's kind of just how the game is programmed. It's not my computer, it, it does this no matter what computer you're on. It could perhaps be a limitation of hard drive speed, maybe? I've got a badass hard drive, but it's not solid state. If I went solid state, maybe it wouldn't be like this, but when you have a lot of units moving around, it's not the most well-programmed game in terms of optimization in the world. There's not really any getting around it as far as I'm aware. Is that one of my cities? I don't even know. There's so many messages at this point in the game. It, it mustn't have been one of my cities. I'm so close to a land... No, I'm a... I'm above a land domination. 
Oh no, I'm just super, super close. Okay, never mind. I misread that. If I take one city, I probably get a land domination. You have destroyed the city of Anjar. I destroyed a city? How? When? <laughs> what? Ooh. I don't even... I'm not even going to claim to understand what just occurred. Apparently, I destroyed a city. Like how there are all these dudes marauding around, but they're so weak they can't do anything. <laughs> Alright, let's just get a couple more destroyers. Uh, let the war continue. I've decided I might as well get some science while I'm at it. At this point, I don't need more money. So, I'm gonna go ahead... ...and just take... ...the first however many there are there. Load them up... ...onto whatever they can load up on. Okay. Now we can take some of these guys. God. And we're just gonna have to move people slowly. Okay. Perfect. And we move. We're probably gonna lose a ship or two. But we'll be okay. They're not gonna simp. They're not gonna sink the ships that matter. Even if they do, and we lose our really good upgraded units, it doesn't matter. We can't lose at this point. They didn't even try to attack it. I would have at least tried if I was in their position. At the lowest cost possible, paying the highest wages. Well, whatever. We made landfall. They didn't stop us in time. Let's see what they have here. Apparently I brought a worker here. I'm gonna... Oh, it was the worker. Yeah, it was one of their workers I just took. Durr. Well, I just deleted him. There we go. Wealth. Oh my god, we really got another one? I don't even need you anymore. Wish I could use them for a golden age. Well, how close are we to domination now? I mean, we just took another city. Albeit, it doesn't really have much land yet, considering it's still in its revolution. Arabia, you're not ready for capitulation? Okay. Oh, apparently they attacked me on that turn and I killed them more. Oh no, they attacked my boats. Okay. Well. Load up. I wish there was a quick load button. To do this faster. Well, at least boats are fast. Sure, get fascism. I don't even care. Whatever gets the notification out of my face. Probably never even gonna research fascism. And have him join the city that I will never produce a unit in ever again. Um, I still have Persian Revolts in Persepolis. Fuck off. Well. We can, uh... Unload all. Next, uh, next turn the ships will go back home. I don't care anymore. Whatever gets me those kills faster. In fact, I doubt we'll need more military than this. Ah, 
I said move. Hate having to tell them over and over. I'll leave three behind. Hey, look, a holy city down there. This one probably has a higher population, though, so we're going after that. I just want the ones with high population at the moment. Anything that'll take a large amount of land. And just fortify them there, so we have less unit control going on, because I just want to finish this. I wonder if they have any cities in the middle, because if it's just a desert in the middle, they might have no cities there. In fact, I'm starting to think they don't. Oh no, units over there. Hey, look. More machine gunners. Whoops. Looks like you shouldn't have hung around there. Yeah, now they're backing off. And before you think of taking the useless city, it's armed too. You know what, just... Oh, no, do they actually have... They've got infantry now, okay. If I don't win on this one, then I'm gonna have to bring more units. Hmm. I might have to bring more units. They won't capitulate. All right. Well, my highest priority right now, then, are artillery. What's the hotkey? L? Okay, that speeds things up. Well, I might as well drop it off right near the enemy. Speed things up a little bit. It'll help with travel time. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Plastics. And we can always bring in some more infantry on the ships. So, in one turn, that is going to get some land back, and that might actually be enough for a victory right there. We need so little extra land. I won! Oh, yeah, do what we can to save the... I'm a winner. <laughs> Yay! That's what happens when you conquer the planet. So I consider this something of a resounding failure. Let's just hit play so you can see the flow of the game. I consider this something of a resounding failure. I was really hoping everything would be a lot more intense and there'd be a lot more tough decisions. In reality, I basically had this one a third, if not a quarter of the way into the runtime of the world. Okay, let's see here. We're in 80 and this is where I was starting to take Greece. And then they capitulate around then. And I go straight into, into Persia. They capitulate. By this point of the game, I basically have won. It's just a matter of time. So there you see China getting killed on both ends. Yeah, and there, China's dead there. And then any moment here is the beginning of today's session when we start going into it. There we go. There's where I go into. And then Mongolia is already dead. Oh my god. And then I won right there. <laughs> All right, that's the manual flow thing. Yeah, we can see the power there. You can tell it every time a country dies because they start spiking off downwards. Top five cities. Mecca, Rome. Wow, Mecca is better than Rome. Well, they had a lot of wonders, actually. We got Augustus Caesar, which is the highest score. My score was very, very high. I believe I was playing as Augustus Caesar, wasn't I? I don't remember. But making cities capitulate to you is a huge bonus. And as you can see here, on my current, uh, on my current, um, what do you call it? On my current hard drive, since the last time I installed, and uh, I don't have very many things in my Hall of Fame on this, um, what would you call it? This... 
mod, that's it. You have a separate Hall of Fame for different mods. And I actually haven't won a whole lot of ma matches on this mod. But you can tell the big difference between uh, ones where people have capitulated to, one, to you and ones where they haven't. People did not capitulate in this match. People capitulated in this match. When they capitulate and they add your, their score to yours and then they have these huge bonuses on top of it, you come out with completely ridiculous scores. But anyway... You can see losing via none means, basically, there are a lot of matches that I lost um, thanks to me just stopping playing, really. There are a lot of matches I stopped playing, but those are the ones where I actually uh, forfeit the game. Not just a save file I never went back to. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this whole play session. Um, I'll probably get started on another one sometime soon. Once again, we'll do random and we'll go up a difficulty because this was too easy. Again, I consider this kind of a failure because I thought it'd be more difficult than this. Instead, the vast majority of this game was probably not at all interesting to watch because I just had it in the bag. There was no suspense. So if you join me next time in the same playlist where I'll be doing another one, maybe I'll be given a less strong team off the bat than Rome. Just watch. It'll give me like... Queen, uh, was it, um, Queen Elizabeth, debatably considered the greatest leader in the entire game. The greatest leader-country combination, at least. Although, uh, Darius II of Persia is definitely a contender. Until next time, have a nice day.